It's like the Today I wanted to go into my updated hair routine. I have a big collection of things that I'm using to try to get my hair back healthy. And you've probably seen my video where I talk about how I've damaged my hair really, really bad. What I mean is I really damaged my hair when I bleached it. And I was, you know, having to learn the hard way, I guess. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by damaged. And yeah. so here is the damaged part that I'm having to deal with. As you can tell, it's a lot shorter. And it kind of sticks out, see, than my other hair. And on the ends of it, it's really, really fried, and um, it looks kind of like straw. And I've bleached my hair for a long time. Not pure bleach, but like highlighted. And um, it was really blonde. And so I really didn't think it would do that much damage to it when I did decide to bleach it. And the beginning of August this year, it'll be a year since I last colored my hair. And my roots aren't as bad as I thought they would be, but, you know, they're probably like this long. And um, I'm just really ready for it to be back to its normal color and just to be healthy again so I can feel like I can wear it down without it, you know, sticking up and looking really strawish. So, other than that, I really do love my hair. I love the texture of it and the length. Even though I am trying to grow it a little bit longer, it is still very long. I just wanted to really show today that um, I'm using a whole lot of products. They are all really affordable products. And, um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get started. Scalp and Hair Therapy, and it's for damaged and color-treated hair. And I do have both the shampoo and conditioner. So I use this pretty much every day. And when I don't use the conditioner, I use this big bottle. Like, I go through conditioner like it's water. Like, seriously, I use a lot. Because I have long hair, and for me, it feels like it doesn't get nourished unless I use a lot. So I'm using the Suave Professionals Moroccan infusion and it's for shine control for normal to dry hair and it's a really big bottle this was like four dollars for this big thing so um that's why i got it because it has moroccan argan oil in it and then i also use for conditioner the three minute miracle which i um is like a holy grail product for me and um i can't use this enough but um i do use hey lipstick on my teeth but yeah i got through this pretty fast and um, it smells really good too. I'm all about really good smelling shampoos. There's not really many out there that don't smell good, but I love this stuff. That's like $3. And the next thing I use and have recently purchased is John Frieda's Full Repair. And it's a Hydrating and Rescue Deep Conditioner. It's a little small bottle. This smells amazing. I love the way this smells. And um, pretty much you just use your shampoo and conditioner like on a normal day and then you add this after you rent your regular conditioner out or you can really add it with the conditioner and I leave this in for about three minutes as well and it really makes your hair feel really like silky. The next thing is a new mask that I tried. I actually have the Moroccan or the macadamian, um, the, the expensive one. I can't think of the name of it right now but it's really a nice mask too but I've already ran out of it and I didn't really have the money to go and spend another 27 to $30 on another one. So I went ahead and bought this to try, and it's the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. And it looks in a pretty little jar like this, and it looks kind of similar to the um, macadamia stuff. See? And it's a really thick conditioner. It smells really good. And I use this every other day. Leave it on for, it says leave it on for, um, Five minutes, oh, three to five minutes. So um, I just do that whenever I'm done shampooing my hair. And um, I do like to double up on the conditioner. Like I said, I use a lot. So if I do use my swall conditioner, I also might try to use this too. <clears throat> I'm trying to really make this frizziness go down is why I use so much conditioner, and it does help. If I don't use um, a lot, it'll be a really like it'll stick up really bad. And I hate that. Like, I have to wear my hair up so much. It just does. Ugh. I hate it. Okay, and then the next thing I just got here recently, and I'm already in love with it. And, um, actually some girls off YouTube were talking about it, and, um, I was just really excited to go try it. So, it's called Clear Shine. It's a 
a glaze for your hair and it's for all hair shades and you just pretty much just says you can use it daily or weekly and if you use it daily you can use it in the shower after you condition your hair you just squeeze out the excess water and um, put this all over from your roots to the bottom for like on your dry hair and leave it on for 20 minutes and then rinse it out and then shampoo it and condition it like normal. Yeah, I'm really excited about trial nest and they said that it really helped um, their damaged hair so um, hopefully it'll t like tame mine <laughs> so I can like grow it out. My problem is whenever it gets to a certain length and I see the little straggly edges, I'm like wanting to trim it for some reason to get rid of that because because of the root being so like slick and stuff. I'm thinking, okay, maybe it'll go away. But yet, whenever I trim it, it still sticks out just because it's like short. So, okay, the next two things are um, things I use right before I dry my hair. And um, I pretty much use these every single day. I'm pretty much um, out of both of them, but um, they're like another Holy Grail products that I have to have. And there are a lot of them out there on the market right now, but these two I just happen to work for me. And the first one is my Thermal Hair Tamer Leave-In Spray, and it's a, a Tresemme. A lot of people have tried this, I know, but um, it just works and, for me. Um, so yeah, I'm out of it pretty much. So I use that, and then after that, um, I will use my um, Garnet Fruit Teas Sleek and Shine Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment. Yeah, I'll use this pretty much right after I brush my hair out. Oh, and that reminds me, um, when you go to brush your hair out, the best thing to use is not a big paddle brush or, you know, one of those really thick brushes. The best thing to use is like a comb or a detangler brush. It um, doesn't damage your hair when it's wet because I know the other brushes will definitely damage it and make it like frizzy so definitely use one of these after the sh after um, you get out of the shower so yeah that's pretty much all my products. If you have any questions about my hair feel free to ask me down below um, I haven't colored it since it'll be a year this August which is a long time for me because I'm in cosmetology school and there's so many different ideas I want to play with and I can't on my hair because I'm trying to get it back to its normal state so it's really sad but I'm really excited about it growing out. I'm also taking vitamins to help the growth of my hair too. I know that has a lot to do with um, the hair is your you know your nutrition and um, your body on the inside has a lot to do with it and yeah so I pretty much have style a different way every day just because I'm tired of not being able to wear it down and today it's not as bad because I did use the um, clear shine on it and it did make it look a lot silkier and yeah whenever I can color it I'm probably gonna get rid of this brown um, I get complimented on it a lot in person and stuff but I'm just really tired of it and I want it back all blonde or more like my natural color which is a dirty blonde so it'll be more healthy and I can you know grow it out to be just shiny I'm just missing my shiny hair um, I thought about cutting it here recently to really, really short, but I changed my mind because last time I did that, I regretted it so bad, and um, I just don't want to go through that again because it took me a little, it took me two years to grow it to this I probably won't ever cut it again, like, for a long time, um, and if I did, I would definitely get the um, stacked whatever look, and yeah, so. And if you're going to bleach your hair, please let a professional do it if you think you don't know what you're doing because I thought I did. I even had my um, cosmetology instructors close to me whenever I did it and it still turned out like this and I was very upset because um, and I ruined it another time by adding um, some what do you call it low lots to right here and I shouldn't have done that because it looked good all solid blonde but you know and if I do that see it sticks up right there so I can't do my normal little swish back thing which really I hate that but anyways, maybe by this August I will have it back to where it looks like I have bangs and I'll be able to trim the ends off and it'll look so much better. But but like I said, if you have any questions, um, please just comment below. And sorry if I'm playing with my hair a lot. It is a hair video, so I guess it just comes with it. But anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I promise to have another video up really soon. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!